subscribe for the very latest. What up, everybody? It's the one and only, the one and only yeah. call room. Hey. The one and only call room. You know what I'm saying? Hold it down. Shout out to everybody liking, subscribing, kicking it with us in the comments. Man, I, look, listen, I love getting the comments, which I'll be me. I'll be in there. I, 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 I love it, man. So, hey, hold up. Yeah, we're we going to get, I want to get into a couple of comments before we. Before we get uh, before well after we get the intros going we got trim in the building we got chuck d in the building we got walter aaron in the building you know what i'm saying and uh listen man we, we got we got a, a very 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 special guest man i love this brother man i love all y'all by the way uh but this brother's been with us man he was episode 10 i think it was early on i forget yeah man or episode 10 um you know we we had some technical difficulties so i had to get rid of the episode unfortunately i had to get rid of the episode um but you know i i think about you, brother. the brother you about to bring on he he when i hear him i hear the south I hear, I hear, I hear, I hear a brother who's on fire for God. And I don't meet too many people like that. Like, you know, I mean, on fire, fire. You know, he's a good brother. He always wants to help. You know what I'm saying? He, he, he's, he, he's always, he's, he's, the, he's the one that really wants to get his hands dirty in a lot of situations, man. And I'm very honored to know this brother. I'm very honored um, to know him. Uh, I consider him family of the show. You know what I'm saying? He, he, he's almost like one of the cast members, and he, he's old. He knows he's always in, invited to come on, so that's why he's here today. So everybody, give it up for the brother D Reigns in the house. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's love. That's love. Yeah. Definitely uh, yeah. appreciate the the intro, but you know I'm always coming humbly. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so yeah, yeah. That that's, was... that's my that's my job. That's my job All to right. big you up. All right. Right. See, you know what I'm saying? That's my job to big you up. So yeah, I know that. I know that. I know you're a humble brother. But you know, in 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 some in I feel like in in a lot of time in, in the times that we living in right now, I think we all need some uplifting. You know what I'm saying? And we all we all you know what? I'm gonna tell you what's been on my heart as well. The value. People need to know their value. Because if they don't know their value, how you gonna add to what to anything? Right. How you gonna add to anything if you don't know right. your value and what you're worth? And being so, being that we we all are humble beings, but it's our job to big out to uplift our per, our people. You know what I'm saying? And, and and try to get put that battery in their back to let them know you know what you worth something. Now get in, let's get get this help going so you can go uplift somebody else. You know what I mean? Like right. so, it's it's important, man. It's important. So it, it's it's my pleasure. Uh, we're gonna have some fun on the show man we're gonna get trim back in here soon you know what i'm saying yeah i know he i'm sure it's his internet or something like that but we'll get him back in there let me see let's, let's see what he sound like now there you go there you go yeah you good you, you sound better we all sound better now that you sound better, better. yeah i wouldn't know. even say anything last time it was just i yep. don't know i don't know what's coming through but i wouldn't say anything yeah it was it was just out so out so enough but um no, it's all good. We back, man. Uh, so, um, how everybody been doing though? Y'all been good? Everybody been straight? Good, yeah, man. Um, yeah, man. So, listen, I'm, I'm, I've been wonderful, man. Life is great. Um, the podcast has been picking up. Um, you know, like I said, shout out to everybody being in the comments. Hey, Chuck, listen. Somebody, somebody, somebody said it's already Chuck D. Why you name yourself Chuck D, though? I'm just, it's relaying the message. <laughs> Hey, in the comp, they was in the comments. It was like, yo, listen, ain't it already a Chuck D? Why he gonna still? Why he gonna go and steal a name from a legendary public enemy? I'm just saying, that's what he said, man. Your response is what? First and foremost, uh, I'm a, I'm a, I ain't changed my name, bro. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man, 
by right, your name is still Chuck. You still are Chuck. So I mean. You know what I'm saying? Go. I got a I got a <laughs> I got a uh remix version of my of my government here, so you know what I'm saying? It's what it is. Hey man, hey, hey, it is they t- that's how you gotta t- you gotta tell them, Chuck. Hey, listen, mind your business. I'm just saying, mind your business. You know. But now shout out to my brother that was in the chat, man. We was kicking yeah. it, man. You know, shout out to everybody in there, <laughs> like and subscribe and like my daughter say, subscribe for the for the very latest. That's all you gotta do. Subscribe for the very that. latest. Man. You know, um, but yeah, man, so um we're gonna get into the show. We ain't gonna hold y'all too long. Um, so, you know, normally the range we start. Uh, we, we I guess we want to start. We just basically want to start off with the interview, man, because, uh, like I said, the last one. I don't know. It caught on fire. You know, it just deleted, <laughs> disappeared. I don't know what happened. Man. It was a. But I. Go. But yeah. I did watch. I That's watched the episode it. again. Yeah, it, it just, just disappeared. But I That's did watch the episode. Know. Gotcha. I wouldn't watch it. I went back and watched it though, because you know we got it. We got it in the tuck, right? Um, yeah. It was a really yeah. good interview. We we talked about a lot That's of things. Um, you know, what what is you know what is the what is the main what's your main focus? Like like you have short term goals, and you have long term goals. What's what's the what's the long term goal like what would you like it when it's all said and done you sit in your rocking chair mm-hmm. and you looking at all the things that you've done what would you want that to look like building a a community a thriving community right and now, so now when you say community you talking about like town you talking yeah, about uh, yeah okay. I'm, gonna, I'm gonna give i'm gonna give more depth to it so okay. We, 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 we're living in times now to where I believe everyone know what's going on, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, in, the, in the US, internationally, there's a lot of uncertainties going on, right? So the community that I want to focus on more so of a, a, not necessarily a town, but a community that's self-sufficient, okay? okay. So what that means is this particular community produces everything. Their own power, water, food, medical, protection, all of the above, right? So that's the that is the the epitome of being set apart. You 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 came out of Babylon and now you have your own community that you're thriving in, right? Mm. And so why why is that important? Well, the the, the biggest reason is that wickedness is abound nowadays, right? And so it's, it's, it's becoming all the more important that we get back to doing, we get back on the ancient path, right? So I know they, uh, this, you guys focus on music. And so a lot mm-hmm. of the artists that I listen to are set apart artists from Ishan Burgundy to Darak Abar, Anaviel the Servant, the list goes on, right? And so a mm-hmm. lot of these guys, they're always talking about, uh, especially the rock, getting back to the ancient path, right? The way of doing things, how our ancestors did it, biblically speaking, right? Now, again, I, I just want to reiterate. So <laughs> before people get in the comments or the, or the chat, say, oh, you know, blah, 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 this and the third. If if you disagree with anything that I'm saying, hey, that's, that's totally cool. You know, cool. You know, keep it respectful. The only reason why I'm saying that because there's been times on my personal platform social media platform people are trying to i'm not a, i'm not big on our online you know so mm-hmm. uh we all tied to our opinion so so the community is is you know like you say i'm old i'm sitting in my rocking chair and i'm able to enjoy what y'all have blessed us with by following his 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 order essentially right so mm-hmm. it, it's not for me to get glory it's for him to get glory and for him to get glory is saying again it didn't saving more souls essentially mm-hmm. right mm-hmm. and so you able to do that in a more in a more uh, uh protective manner when you have a community that's completely set apart from the system right now where can that community be it could be anywhere right it could be any state any country you understand wherever you see fit that you're going to have all the things that you need to have this thriving set apart community okay 
So um, that's my long-term goal. Short-term goal is essentially focus focus on family, right? Focusing on family and essentially growing to that. So we we somewhat getting a head start as far as how to cultivate land, um, how to be mm. self-sufficient, uh, preserving food for uh, long-term food storage. Mm. Um, we still in the beginning stages of a lot, even, you know, gotcha. what's, what was that? Two years ago, uh, close to two years when I was on the podcast, mm-hmm. uh, about two yep, years, yep. right? A year and a half. Yep. Uh, mm-hmm. You know, we've, there's, there's been progression, but at the same time, we still have a long ways to go. And I say we, right. talking about my wife and I and, and right, you know, right. a few other folks, but um, that's pretty much that, man. And so there, there's, there are businesses amongst all of that. Uh, of course you want to you know financial freedom and you want to be able to travel and experience things but that's that that's the reward for doing what's important and doing what's important is expanding the kingdom of the most high so um that's yeah that's 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 pretty that's much it. that man yeah and yeah, you know I- now, now there's there's different there's different um paths of course to achieving all these different things it's it's a lot mm-hmm. that that entails it but that's that's pretty much my long term short term right there got you well i want i, I uh, want to be going but uh, that but before before we get into that i want to make sure because i got a, i got a segment of the show called black people minding their business right black people sorry. black people minding it but so so what i want i don't want to go i don't want to go too deep into it yet because that's going to tie into what he's saying is going to tie into that part so I just want to make sure. So, but, but Trim, go ahead, man. Go ahead. Yeah, I got a question, man. I just want, just wanted some clarification, man. Um, when you say set apart, uh, could you give a little bit more uh, context around that? What does that mean? Yeah. So, kodeshim, it's a Hebrew term, Hebrew word for set apart, right? That's what set apart means. Kodeshim, set apart. So, this set, being set apart is simply that you set apart from the world you 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 in the world but you're not of the world right so that's for example uh at the at the very basic being mindful of the ten commandments right and one of the ones that's overlooked is is keeping the sabbath okay um so even with just focusing on keeping the sabbath honoring your parents not murdering obviously right uh key word murder not kill that's different things but anyways um uh <laughs> the biggest thing that my wife and i have done so far is not keeping the holiday so we don't we don't recognize none of the 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 holidays what we focus on are the feast days that were given to us biblically okay and that can be a part of that segment <laughs> uh that folks minding their business you know what i'm saying if you if you don't want to if, if you go too far into that right now we can we can say that for later but that's essentially is being set apart from the world you're not you're not participating in a lot of the the worldly things um the worldly ways you know so hey at the end of the day we see how the um the um what's the most respectful way to acknowledge the lgbt community i i, mean, I guess I, I i i have i, I don't honestly i i don't I, I don't i don't know i you know i just i just say that i i mean i just say what you just said honestly you know i mean I, it, I, I, it, I, it, it's as simple as that you I, I will have people tell me i'm i'm you grown do you but don't push that upon children that's 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 one of the the biggest issues i have with that community Mm -hmm. is that they really trying to go hard on the children you know uh but anyways so that that's what set apart me it is it's you doing things according to the word period got you okay okay yeah um y'all got any questions you know hey listen y'all know how i get down i just I just fired fire, them, fire them all. Yeah, yeah. I got, I got, I got one in the, in the lack of better term in the chamber. But um, so with the the process of 
I know you mentioned about being in the in, a, in a beginning stage of building out the community. Uh, what I guess what is the one of the biggest challenges you run into with that? A lot of our people are still mentally enslaved. Okay, and what that mean is it's hard to let people know that they are still a slave when they are they they don't want to recognize it they don't want to see it okay and so that's the most difficult part okay it's me my wife and i we came up out of the the um we came up out of the church about two three years ago and once we start presenting things based on scripture to people especially once family and friends it was it was pretty much rejected right so trying to get keyword trying to get people you love to build a community with is the most difficult part so then you have to go with strangers you have to go with people you don't know but have a a a like mindset okay so building an online platform or through prayer through faith you're you're led to people who have the same frame of mind it's no it's no trying to convince them that we want a food prep water prep it's no trying to convince them we need to start about learning how to farm it's no trying you get what i'm saying it's no it's no trying to convince them because they're on the same wavelength, right? So it becomes a little bit more difficult and it takes longer to build that community because you got to build it with strangers almost because you can't do it with your loved ones. You know what I'm saying? Now, there are some people out there who have been blessed where their family, whether it consists of parents, siblings, aunties, uncle, whoever, they've been able to do that. But a lot of us, it's, 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 more, it's more difficult. So that's the that's the biggest obstacle right now you know so uh, you can you can go further when you you when you have a group of people going with you but it's a slow process you know what i'm saying so did that did i answer that or yeah definitely provides uh, another layer to it so i appreciate that solid well, what you want to um one of my questions was because <clears throat> i've definitely been uh in the Bible a little bit more these days. And uh, I have, uh, maybe this is part of Black Folk Mind Your Business, but I have been in a little bit more in the, y'all can hear me, right? Everybody yeah. Me. yeah, 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 um, yeah. I've been, I have been looking into like revelation a bit more. And I have been looking into things about like self, self preservation and being able to sustain and build for your own like even when i i don't want to go too deep into this but even when you think about the whole 40 acres and the mule thing like us having our own land and being able to build upon that like i guess my thing is what do you think one of the most overlooked things in the bible that black people could connect to that we miss that you feel that we just kind of gloss over in that in the book the most overlooked thing in my life, and again i grew up in the church i have a family full of pastors ministers uh i've been baptized at a young age i was baptized at a young age uh, i came into accepting christ as my savior at a young age I've praised dance, I've ushered, I've done security. I've, I've been heavy in the church since I was young. And so, although I don't have any religious title, I'm not a pastor, I'm not a bishop, I'm not a deacon, none of that, okay? I'm just a man who reads the word on his own, raising his family, okay? So, but at the same time, I've been in, I've been in the church to see and know that one of the biggest things that really plagues our people is not reading the word for themselves, not studying the word for themselves. So they get caught up in the um, uh, the motivational speakers, which they they pastors, right? It's it's very rare that you have people that is going to 
consistently study and read the word on their own on their own instead of just listening to their past Sunday or Wednesday. So what does that mean? That means that they not fully they not fully dead it to the word like somebody that reads the word. That makes sense, okay? So that's why it is it, it's it plagues our people because it's it's more of a they more of a, on the religious side of things instead of the relationship side of things okay because even the messiah said when it, when one or more are gathered in in my name you have in church right so as long as you mm -hmm. fellowshipping with somebody else it doesn't matter if it's your spouse your children whoever it may be then you're you're on that path of having within your own because the church is not about a building it's about the people right so uh, okay let me please at any time y'all feel like i'm going too far stop because when i get going I, I i you know what i'm saying i get in motion you know what i'm saying exactly. but uh <laughs> yeah so so yeah that's well that i mean that, that's pretty much that man is is that reading and studying the word for themselves a lot of our people don't don't do that uh whenever i bring certain things to people's attention just asking simple questions according to scripture now these are conversations i have with believers this is not for worldly people if you buddhist or or or, or satanists or atheists or i'm not i'm having these type of conversations with you but if you say you believe in the risen messiah like i do and I question you based on scripture about certain things and you rebuttal and give an opinion. Ah, that lets me know you ain't really in this word like you say you are. Now, it is not for me to try to uh, condemn that person. That is not my place. <laughs> not my. I'm just a servant. I'm just a disciple. Right. So I just take that information and keep it moving. You feel me? I make a note of it and keep it moving. But a lot of our people are still trapped based on. Oh, man, you know, I it's a lot of death I can, and but I got to be mindful of the time and, and you know, send everything at hand. But yeah, that's, that's pretty much that, man. Hempstead nights, silky slim with the pearly whites, earned a rap being smooth with the ladies, plus could fight, kept the knife in his inside coat pocket, 22 strap on his ankle as another option. Protege of chocolate, Tay and OG from around the way, used to run numbers and push, yay, no Yeezy.